All right, guys, let's take a look at Malwarebytes Premium 2018. Now, right now, I downloaded a free trial for 14 days to try it out. If you want to do that also, you can go to Google and type in Malwarebytes. Click on the first link that pops up right here. When it goes to the website, click on the green free download button. It'll download it, and once you install it, this is what it looks like here. Now, like I said, I'm doing the 14-day trial. If you download the free edition, it's going to tell you here on the right-hand side you will lose these features in 14 days. So once you lose the features and you're just using the free edition, you will only have antivirus. Um, you won't have web protection, exploit protection, malware protection, or ransomware protection once the 14 days are over. But right now we're going to go ahead and test those out. If it's your first time running it, it's going to ask you to do what's called a threat scan. Go ahead and hit scan now on it when it asks you to do a threat scan. If we go to the threat, I mean if we go to the scan tab here on the left side, there's three types of scans you can do. A threat scan, which is the most comprehensive scan. That's the one I recommend that you run. Custom scan, that's like if you downloaded something and you want to test it to see if it's, you know, got a virus or not. Then hyperscan does it really quick. We call this a cheap scan. Don't ever use a hyperscan. It's just cheap. All right, guys. What's cool about this, you can run a, a scheduled scan by clicking on this tab here. Right now it's got this. You can delete that one and then make your own. You click add and you could do a threat scan. Let's say I like to do it once a week. Um, and then you could say here what date you want to start and time that you want to do it. You can even make it more advanced. If you want to quarantine all threats automatically, scan for rootkits. Rootkits are more um, dangerous viruses. You can go ahead and I recommend you do scan for rootkits. Hit OK and boom, you have yourself a scheduled scan. That's what I like about Malwarebytes. They have this feature here. All right. We go to quarantine. This is where your viruses are going to be. This is like the jail of the viruses. Always, always, always delete them when you have a quarantine virus. Always come in here and hit uh, delete. All right, guys, let's go back to the dashboard here. We're going to take a look at uh, all the settings. There's two ways to get to the settings. The easiest way is on the left tab here. You click on the sprocket here, settings. The other way is in the dashboard. You go over here where it says real-time protection on the right hand, right top hand side. Click on the sprocket there. All right, and here we are in settings. If you go to the very left in application updates, make sure you have this on to automatically update. Notify when full versions are available, notifications, and uh, you can play with all these settings here. Your language, your event log. You don't really need to worry about this stuff here, proxy server. And there's a lot of things you can do here, actually. Oh, it looks like it's starting a scan on its own right now. All right, let's go back to the settings. I think because we did that scheduled scan, I think it's starting it. All right. So let's go to protection tab here. So, like I said earlier, the premium edition protects you from a lot of stuff. For example, right here, connections to malicious or compromised websites. And it's just on. Now, the thing is, it doesn't have more settings on here to use. It just turns it on, but you don't know exactly what it's doing. And I got to take some points off of the malware bytes because of that. Exploit protection is on, prevents vulnerable exploits. But um, So here it has where you can go in there and change that, manage protected applications. And here you can go ahead and turn off or on the ones you want to protect or not. That's cool. Now malware infections is on, but it has no settings on how to set that up. Ransom protection is on, but it doesn't really explain to you how that works. Basically, ransomware will come in and it'll take hostage all your stuff, all your important documents, pictures, whatever, emails, and lock them up and, and give you a ransom saying, pay us this much and we'll unlock them. Now I imagine it doesn't not telling me how here how it does it, but usually ransomware protection, if malwarebytes sees that your files are starting to get locked like that, it'll stop it on its tracks and it'll notify you, say, hey, ransomware is trying to mess up your computer right now. And it's on right now. I recommend you keep it on. If you want to turn it off, it's gonna make you go through this user account control. Don't ever turn it off. Make sure that's on all the time. Alright, scan for rootkits is on. So I recommend you just keep all the settings the way they are. Scan schedule, we talked about that before. You can go through exclusions, you can exclude certain websites, well not websites, but certain places on your computer. Ex exclude certain programs and stuff. This is a little more advanced, but when you click out exclusion here, 
you can add, uh, exclude a file or folder. Oh yeah, you can do a website too. An application that connects to the internet and a previously detected exploit. That's a little more advanced, but you're basically going to be using the first three right here. All right, account details. This is where you can see when you need to renew your account. Right now, like I said, we're doing the 14-day premium trial. You can always go here to go to my account and pay for if you were paying for it if you want to renew it and of course here you could just this is just the about page there's really nothing here you uh, one more thing the reports here you can right here you can see the reports of the scans you you made in case you want to go back and take a look at it so I gotta give malware bytes premium a good review it does really good with making it easy for you guys to understand how it works it's very user friendly with everything here on the left hand side. You just hit the scan button and scan. Hit the quarantine button to get rid of any viruses that it found. And you can also do a scheduled scan which is very, very convenient. Thanks for watching guys. If you guys like it, if after the 14 days you want to give it a shot and buy it and and try it out for more than 14 days you can go ahead and click on the link on the description of the video and it'll take you to this page here and here you can go ahead and um, save some money by buying the two-year plan you can get the one year if you'd like but the two-year plan you'll save I think about ten dollars there and you'll be protected for two years you don't have to worry about it for two years thanks for watching guys don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you soon in my next video